poets in their own work, and you don't have to be as short as me, of course. Um, we're going to start just in alphabetical order with Tamiko Bayer. Uh, her poetry has appeared in The Collagist, The Little Red, uh, Little Red Leaves, Sonora Review, and elsewhere. She serves at the po as the poetry editor of Drunken Boat and leads community writing workshops with the New York Writers Coalition. She is a founding member of Agent 409, a queer multiracial writing collective, a con Kundeman Fellow, and an MFA candidate at Washington University in St. Louis. You can find her online at wonderinghome.com, and she also blogs at thekenyanreview.org. Please welcome Tamika. Thank you. You can come in. There's lots of seats. Come, 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 come. <laughs> ah. um, thanks to Amy for organizing this, um, and thank you all for coming. Um, so I've been actually for the last six months writing about water, um, and so I'm going to read some poems from that series, um, and it's kind of about our relationship to water, our relationship to each other, like water as body, human body, the interconnectedness between it all. So I felt it was appropriate to read today. Um, the first one's called The Water in You. Slippery folds of the largest body and its needs, I in the seams of your skin, 83% of blood, deepest water, transference, the tap runs hot, gushes. The water comes from somewhere very far away. The condition of having a body. Water turned into itself. Black water, froth, freezes against concrete walls and holding tank to tank until clear. Every night, a bad water drain. All wet within, surface tension drenched, bubbling sacks of liquid lungs. I under your nails, I in the navel cup. I grime in all the places the world enters your body. Um, and this one is about the other disaster um, in the Gulf Coast, Katrina. Um, and it begins with um, some words that I took from Michael Brown's testimony, the former FEMA director. Um, and it cut, his words kind of come back. You should be able to tell, probably. It's called Wade. Because no disaster is perfect, there are mistakes made, made in every single, di every single disaster, because in the diffuse light, after the rain, dawn becomes a hesitant mirror because we in an attic watch the slow rise, water thick inside and out, become a drenched mouth that envelops because I received conflicting information. I received information approximately the levees had broken. I received conflicting information later the levees information only topped because after the neighbor and his raft, we wade spend the next night in an abandoned bus. Pink plastic curler, safety pin, toothbrush, nested in sweating mud, what longs for hair, for teeth, for tether. We are only bodies, bodies exhaust in moments, return in increments of light's slow rise. Dear responsibility, are you lonely? Um, this one's called Talking Into Each Other's Mouths. If the Cumbre Vieje volcano erupts, you say, half the island of La Palma will plunge into the sea, and then? Rise up, Atlantic, find us wanting at the harbor's mouth. Coney Island lingers a mermaid's lemonade before the irrevocable tear. The bridges toss sticks, prospect just a phrase on the tip, and oh, Whitman and his houses tumble into the pool, names gone dumb. But some people doubt the megatsunami theory, you say, glancing up from your screen. I look down at the tree's bare branches undulating like seaweed. See the current, I say? Our street signs fall, the houses lose their bricks. You spread your arms. Draw up the sail, sweetheart. A room's a tight box ship. We billowy milk and wet paper. Take the hit and spin drift. We wave and wave and wave. Um, and this poem is um, 
about eco machines, which um, take gray, rudder, gray water runoff and use um, plants and microbes to um, turn it into water that can be put back into our um, waterways. So it's called We Come Elemental. We step into humid light. It sticks to our skin and microbes gorge in gray water runoff pools. The chlorophyll chorus sings. Our collected chemical stew, nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen. Each molecule polished, each O, each pair of H, a banquet of lust, wet sludge, stream suds, oil slick rain. Eat the bread of our bodies, slough, eat our bread, the crumb down drain, eat of our bread, our rainbowed fuel, till Pools of clear flow back to the rivers, those quick veins of industry, Passaic, Hudson, wash over ancient mollusk shells, and we learn again, green's good was veined through leaves. Um, and I wanted to end by reading just a little bit of, um, uh, from Muriel Rukeyser's uh, The Book of the Dead, and it's just the last part of her poem, Dam. And I wanted to read it because, um, I just, it, it makes me feel like, I mean, things are so horrible right now and we really need to take action and, um, you know, hold the, hold BP accountable, hold ourselves accountable, but it is also really good to remind ourselves of the power of water, um, and that's what this passage does for me. The dam is used when the tunnel is used. The men and the water are never idle, have definitions. This is a perfect fluid, having no age nor hours, surviving scarless, unaltered, loving rest, willing to run forever to find its peace. Equal in seas and currents of still glass, effects of friction to fight and pass again, learning its power, conquering boundaries, able to rise, blind in revolts of tide, broken and sacrificed to flow resumed collecting eternally power, spender of power, torn, never can be killed, speeded in filaments, million, its power can rest and rise forever, wait and be flexible, be born again. Nothing is lost, even among the wars, imperfect flow, confusion of force, it will rise. These are the phases of its face. It knows its seasons, the waiting, the su sudden, it changes. It does not die. Thank you very much.